Today, Square Trade tested the breakability of the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. The Square Trade Labs team put each phone through a series of tests to determine its breakability score. First, we looked at the front and back panels of each phone. Both new iPhones are thinner and curvier than the iPhone 5. Also, the camera is no longer flush with the back panel. Next, we checked size, weight and grip ability. By now, probably everyone knows the new iPhones are bigger. The 6 Plus is so big, in fact, that it's hard to operate one-handed. Next up, the slide test. We tested both phones sliding on plastic and wood surfaces. Phones are ready. Time to slide. Even though they're made of the exact same material, the 6 Plus is heavier, so it took longer to stop sliding, both on plastic and wood. After that, it was time for our water test. First, a little music to set the mood. Then, time for a dip. After 10 seconds underwater, we checked to see how each phone held up. The audio on both iPhones shut off temporarily, but came back on after a few minutes. Otherwise, there was no immediate damage to either phone. Our last test of the day, the drop test. Enlisting the help of our Square Trade drop bot, we strapped each phone in and prepared for impact. Six drops in honor of the iPhone 6 from four feet high. So, what was the damage? After six drops, the iPhone 6 had only a few nicks and scratches. That's the best a phone has ever performed in our drop test. The 6 Plus didn't perform quite as well. While the iron-strengthened glass came through unscathed, the front and back panels came apart entirely on the left side. And while initially there didn't seem to be any functional damage, the audio stopped working about 30 minutes later. Testing complete, it was time to tally up the scores. The verdict? Apple has done it again. Both new iPhones are bigger and more durable than any before them. The iPhone 6 passed all of our tests with flying colours. The iPhone 6 Plus also did extremely well, but it's so big that it lost points for grippability and size and didn't do quite as well in our drop test. So is bigger really better? Yes, although the biggest isn't always the best. For a chance to win a new iPhone 6, enter our giveaway.